What is going on guys, Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today I am absolutely hyped up guys. I got the second generation of the Zero Breeze that you guys have been watching in my channel for quite a while now. I completed the unboxing and the review of the first generation around nine months ago. And yes, it got a lot of views. So I'm assuming that you guys like this kind of product. And this one is definitely no exception. If you thought the first generation was cool, this one I would say is four times cooler. So anyways, here we have the unit itself now we have a more futuristic design this one comes with 2300 BTUs and now it is a 24 volt unit where before we had again 1100 BTUs and only 12 volts so this is basically twice as strong as the first generation and again it has the ability to cool four times better than before it comes now with a clip-on battery yes a lot of you guys criticize the first battery by saying well Jay doesn't clip on you have to be carrying two things separately and that's an inconvenience well now they have fixed it by adding a clip that goes on the bottom side of the unit and now you can carry both things in one hand which is really really cool so this came in a non-official box due to the fact that this is a pre-production unit or prototype if you guys want to call it that and they have a few things to change on here um, I will be explaining it later but so far I got inside of the box the power adapter for your vehicle this is a power converter it goes from 12 volts to 24 volts but this is only for the battery I tried turning on the unit it turned it on for a little bit but then it started overheating so I turned it off and I noticed that again it's only for the battery and not the unit itself I got some shirts and uh, I got them in two sizes. Okay, I'm not sure if this is something uh, that they included as a gift for me. But uh, yes, I got a large and an extra large. And then we got here the connector for the battery. So on the back side of the battery, you're gonna find a plug that looks just like this. And as you can tell, it has a yellow tab. This side goes connected to the battery. The other side goes connected on the back side of the unit and which I'm gonna be showing you in just a moment. So then we have a longer wire here. This one would not be included. This is in case you don't want to attach the battery to the unit, or you have a little longer wire. I guess this will be sold separately, and that way you can connect it again without having the battery attached to the unit itself. Then the next thing we get is the power adapter here for the unit itself. This is so that you connect it to your regular outlet. And again, you get those 24 volts for the unit, and then we get the vent so here we have the two pipes they come together one is for the air coming in the other one is to obviously release the heat and now the last item that came inside of the box is the remote controller now this is a dummy remote controller because of the fact that this is a prototype they haven't implemented the IR blaster on the unit but in the final production unit this will be added into it and again it's a really cool and convenient remote controller you can turn on and off the unit we have the fan mode, the cool mode, the light, the sleep, pretty much all we get here on the top side of the unit. And then we get the fan speed mode or the fan speed, um, the plus and minus, so that way you can increase it or decrease it. So then getting a look here at the unit itself, we get the vent here, which is a rotating vent. As you can appreciate, we get the digital thermometer right here. Now in this case, it's only in Celsius as of right now. Um, on the top here, we get the power key the plus and minus for the fan speed. We get here some LEDs depending on the fan speed. This is going to increase. Uh, this is where the IR blaster is going to be located for the remote. And then here um, on the lower side of the power key, we get the dedicated AC button. This is to activate the compressor and the condenser so that way you guys can start getting cool air. The next one we got here is the sleep button. We get the light button. Then this one here, guys, I'm not sure exactly what this is for. It has to do something with the condensing liquid, you know, whatever comes out of the unit in liquid. I guess you can do something with this button. Again, I didn't get the manual, so I'm not 100% certain on what that is. But on the final production, once I get my hands on it, I will be providing the unboxing and showing you guys exactly what that is going to be for. And then finally here we have the fan button. This is so that you can turn off the compressor and the condenser and you get just the air, the ambient air. And that's pretty much it. On the back side of the unit, we have a single line LED and it goes in red and blue. So if you have it turned on, it'll go blue. If it's connected to the power, it'll be red. On the back side of the unit, we have the two vents. One is to let the air in, the ambient air in, and the other one is to release the hot air. 
and also the plug for the battery or the power adapter and that's all we get here guys this is a very simple unit if you have ever used an ac you know exactly how to operate this i mean it's a very very basic um you know little device here so again here now we have a 24 volt unit that has a better capacity battery that clips onto the unit so things are looking a lot better for zero breeze in my opinion what we're going to do next is go out there we're going to test it inside of my truck and also inside of a tent that i decided to purchase and i'll be right back alrighty guys so here we have the ram 1500 this is the vehicle that we're going to be using to test the ac just like we did with the first zero breeze so here you guys can tell that we have it connected to the home power it's for obvious reasons i don't want you guys believing that i am using the truck here which again i'm going to take the temperature real quick so that way you can see that this truck is completely cold and that i'm not using the ac coming from the truck directly so also I want to show you here that I use foam material with bags so that we can steal the hole from the window. Here we have the exhaust, one is for air coming in as I explained before and the other one is for the air, the hot air coming out. So here you guys can see all the connection, again the engine is cold, okay, that's the temperature that we have outside. Let's go ahead and measure the outside temperature here from the truck, 109. That's because we are checking it on metal surface. So the inside of the truck right now, it's 105, 111 right here from the seat. Let's measure the top, 114 from the ceiling. And here we have again, the zero breeze connected to the outside unit or the outside outlet, excuse me. So now what we're going to do is turn on the unit. We're going to increase here to max and right now this is the temperature coming out of it let's go ahead and measure it real quick it's right now 90 so it started to get a little lower than that now again this is the trucks temperature and this is the temperature blowing out it keeps decreasing there we go so what we're going to do is use my cell phone here as a timer. We're gonna give it about 30 minutes and I'll be back to check and see if the truck is getting any cooler. Here real quick, we're gonna go ahead and check the temperature coming out of the truck. And right now it is reading at 106. And this one, the air going in is reading at 90, 91. Again, that's the temperature outside and this is the temperature coming from inside of the truck so it is definitely doing its job again let's give it some time and check out the results all right guys so here it has been now about 45 minutes approximately i went ahead and removed the intake uh, pipe and i left it inside and i just left here the exhaust pipe right now it is giving us here a 95 reading and i also want to go ahead and measure here the temperature of the motor it says 106 on here and here on the outer side you can see we have the same temperature so that way you guys don't say that i started the engine let's go inside here real quick and here we have the timer still running right there 43 let's go ahead and check out the temperature in here right now we have a temperature of 90 and this thing is spitting out at 67 okay so yes it definitely cooled down the truck to a comfortable temperature right now i can tell you that even though this thing is reading 87 that's because i'm measuring the seat okay let's check here the ceiling 91 but again this thing is currently spitting out at about 15.9 degrees celsius which is about 60 59 approximately and again this is what I did I left the intake hose inside after a certain time and I went ahead and just kept the exhaust part outside as it is supposed to be so there we have it guys for the results this thing so far seems to be working even better than the first zero breeze 
All right guys, so here we have the AC inside of a tent now that I went ahead and purchased on Amazon. This thing was approximately, I think, uh, 40 bucks or so. So I set it up here in my yard. I got the vents on the outside right now, both of them. So right now in here, feels quite cool. A lot cooler than what it is outside right now. And it has been approximately maybe 15, 20 minutes since I set it up. And this is currently the temperature that this thing is currently reading that it's bidding out but we're gonna go ahead and try here to put in my gun and see what the actual temperature is so right now this thing's reading it at 69 approximately so again it is getting cooler very very quickly and this is a I would say a four people tent it's not too big but it's not too small either so again it feels very nice and comfortable in here it's kind of weird setting this up in my yard, but I just decided to do it for testing purposes. Again, here we have the tent inside of the tent. The outside is about, I would say approximately 90, but it feels very cool and comfortable in here right now. This is the temperature coming out of the unit. It's still at 69, and we have the intake coming from outside. So again, once everything gets a little cool in here, it would be a great idea to set the intake for the inside and just leave the exhaust for outside. Very cool, and again, very functional. And as you guys can tell, I am using the battery here. I still have about 75%, and it will last me about four hours and a half, as I explained before. Alrighty guys, so here we are returning after the testing that we completed inside of the truck and inside of the tent and this time I decided to be as detailed as possible even taking temperatures of my engine that way you guys don't have any doubts like you did on the first generation in which again I understand because of the fact that there's a lot of people who just try to sell you a product and they don't really provide all the details needed in order for you guys to believe it. Well, that's not what my channel is about. This channel is about showing you guys new products out there, whether they are replicas or originals, and telling you if they are worth it or not. And that's why I test them before giving you guys the video. So yes, before I did all this for you, I tested it myself and make sure that it did work. And let me tell you guys, I am mind blown with this particular unit. Again, not only because we have twice more capacity as before in terms of BTUs, it went from 1100 to now having 2300. And also the battery now can clip onto the unit. That's a big convenience because before it didn't and you guys had to carry the battery separately. So these little things that they added into the unit and also the build quality makes a big difference this time and to me it looks amazing it works amazing and overall it's a great functional product that a lot of you guys can take advantage of now the only little thing that i'm sad about is the fact that they took the bluetooth speaker out of it but i am glad on the other hand that they added the remote control feature and that now it has better capacity as i explained before with this being said guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this product. Let me know if you think it's worth it. Let me know if you think it's not worth it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Like this video, share this video, and I'll see you guys on my next one.